My name is Kayan. Can you? Nadir. It's Arabic name now. Yeah, yeah, it is. So right now I'm in Abu Dhabi, which is the capital of the UAE. And I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna go find myself some food. So one of my favorite food items in the world happens to be shawarma. And I am in the Middle East, in a country where one of the most favorite food items for everyone and the specialty is shawarma. So I'm gonna go and try to find myself some Arabian shawarma for the first time in my life, because I've only had it in Bangladesh, even though I've had it like so much. I literally like eat one every single day for breakfast when I'm back home. Yeah. Can I record it? No problem. What's your name, brother? My name is Kayan. Kayan? Yes. You? Nadir. Nadir? Nadir. Nadir? Yes. <laughs> like Arabic okay. name. Yeah. It's Arabic name, Nadir. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, chicken or beef or? It's chicken and it's beef. I saw this Arabic shawarma place called Shawarma Al Meshin. And my brother here from Syria is making a chicken shawarma for me. It's spicy and looks pretty delicious. They're cooking the shawarma the normal way, make sure it's being heated all the way. Then he put some like spicy sauce on there that I like specifically asked for. Then he put some pickles on there. And then he put some French fries on there, which I like really love in my shawarmas. And he's like cutting up the chicken into little pieces and then basically putting it on the wrap, rolling it up nice and easy. Then he puts some other thing on it. I think it's just oil. And he like puts in this like pressing machine and just like lets it heat up. And this one, Tamarek, like, it's here, it's uh, one cube, it's uh, three yeah. dinam. Okay. And uh, one uh, bottle is uh, ten dinam. Uh, can I get one cup of uh, tamarind? Yes. There's also some tamarind juice, which is uh, Ramadan, it's a special. <laughs> Too grand. I'm gonna try the special tamarind juice. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot like lime juice almost, but it has like a strong sour punch to it as well. Too grand. I'll just eat here maybe? Like no problem. <laughs> you can go here and okay. eat. Okay, now trying to try out my first ever Arabian shawarma. <laughs> and this is spicy, so let's see. Good. I eat a lot of spicy food usually. First bite. Good. <laughs> it's really nice. The meat is really juicy. The, um, Wrap itself is definitely um, tougher than what I'm used to eating a lot of shawarma in Bangladesh, but like it's from Arab land shawarma. It's not like a Bangladeshi thing. We just do it differently in Bangladesh, but it's still a popular item there. It's not spicy at all by my standards, so I don't know what to mean by spicy here. Mmm. You can see the French fries that they put in there. Just, I love the taste. I love it when people put French fries um, in their duru or donor shawarma. They do a lot of that in Belgium. You know, that's where Belgian fries came from. This tamarind juice makes it even better. Really nice combination. Completely forgot that they gave me some like pickle on the side. Let's eat some of it. Mm. Mm. These two combined are only like 12 dirham, which is like less than four dollars for the shawarma and tamarind juice. This 80, 5. Shukran, thank you so much, brother. Welcome, brother. That was really nice for my. Really nice for my. If I can, I'll come back again tomorrow before I leave. Thank you. Goodbye. Good peace. <laughs> See you, sir. See you. Man, that was some amazing shawarma, and that just cost 9 dirham, which is like two and a half dollars or two dollars, something like that. So it's like really cheap. And the juice itself costs like three dirham, which is less than a dollar, which is like 80 cents. It's a really good deal for a really solid, like large shawarma. There's a smaller one, I think, for six dirham, but I looked at the different um, sizes of flat bread and I was like, no, I need the bigger one, I'm hungry. Man, my first ever Arabian shawarma in Arab lands did not disappoint at all. And I really love this place. They were so friendly, so hospitable. This is like what Middle Eastern hospitality is all about. They're like, make sure you're having a good time. Just make sure that, uh, you're feeling welcome as a customer. At least that was my experience in um, southeastern Turkey and now here. Uh, this is like the first Middle Eastern place I've eaten in in the last few days in the UAE. All right, that's it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Nadir on the Go. I'll catch you guys in the next video from somewhere else in the UAE.